Today's word is resonant. Today's word is resonant. Well, without further ado, we are back with another video. with another video this is your boy gb craze aka gb reacts and we are reviewing over porto resonance you already know what time it is in today's video we're keeping this we keep it simple we're trying to keep it live um this is just a review so you're not going to get much out of it um if you want to see the reaction the reaction will be on my patreon yes that's right i have released a patreon for the gods to spoken to me and said, hey, you need to set up a Patreon. One God spoke to me. <laughs> but no, nah, for real. Um, um, I this is a serious on a serious note, I do have a Patreon set up. Is um uh, will be I'll be setting I set it up, it'll be named GMB um nation we just gonna set it up as gmb nation man but um y'all gonna hear me talk today this is this is the review man this is if you want to see the reaction link in the description on my patreon gmb nation check it out anyway let's go ahead and get into the real deal the holy grail of today's video which is boruto episode 81 189 why did i say 81 189 we are in the vessel arc the manga arc finally we are getting in there um, this, if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, already, this is your boy Jimmy Creates, AKG Reacts. I'm a reactor, but I'm also getting into reviews and getting back into anime. When I first started this channel, I was doing anime reviews and doing anime reactions. I was reacting to anything, but then YouTube kind of screwed me over <laughs> and was like, hey, uh, we're not just screwing you over, we're screwing over everybody, the general public that makes content. And that's the reason why you haven't seen as much content lately for the past two months, but it's it's because I just need to get myself right. We Last year was crazy, man. <laughs> I I, I I had busted out a lot of content for y'all last year, but I needed to take a break. I was burnt, I felt burnt out, and I just needed a break. But I'm back now. It's the third month of the year. Um, but outside of that, let's talk back on, let's get back on topic with board. So, Boruto Next Gen Naruto Next Generation is a Japanese anime series based on the manga series, the same name, and is a spinoff and sequel to Masashi Kishimoto's Naruto. Now, if you don't know Naruto, I can just simply say it's an anime based on a ninja who wants to become the president of his village. And the president is known as the Hokage in the Naruto world. And the reason why it's called Naruto is because the main character is named Naruto. Unlike most anime, it's actually named after the character. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's, that's, you, can't, you can't miss it. It's a, it's a one-shot go, all right? Um, and of course, you know, Boruto, just like Naruto, was produced by Periot Studio um, and a broadcast on TV Tokyo. So it's dope, dope stuff, dope knowledge to know. Um, one of my favorite animes of all time is, you know, Naruto. Come on now, you know, um, outside outside the top three tier, you know, is uh, Bleach and, and Dragon Ball Z and all that good stuff. But let's get back into the top on topic again. <laughs> Today's episode is 189, as I suggested, um, stated before. It was Kawaki versus Garu. Now, if you haven't seen already, Garu is, uh, a, I'm going to show a picture so you can know who the hell Garu is. All right, you've seen it. Garu versus freaking Kawaki. Now, we got these two heavy hitters. Boom, boom. Um, now, this dude is a literal heavy hitter. And then we have this dude that is, is just a freaking uh, cre creation of uh, a work of art, literally. <laughs> Kawaki. And then we have Garu, you know, just a freaking beast of nature. Now, his power is so OP. 
He went, Kawaki was giving him the bare minimum. And Garu even stated that he was giving the bare minimum. He was like, you fight better than this. Why are you slacking on me now? It's because you've been wasting your energy on all these other uh, less primary sources. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Um, so we get into it. I mean, they get into it. We we get immersed as the audience. We get immersed into the fight scenes. The fight scenes are epic. It's beautiful, beautifully crafted. I have I, I like literally, literally the really good fight scenes. They really do put work into them. Like I have not seen a, a booty fight scene. Um, as far as like the actual like legit fight scenes, that are not fillers. I'm talking about canon fight scenes. All of them were beautiful I, I you can't it was beautiful come on it was magnificent i i can't even hold y'all on that because you we can look at dragon ball super and we can see some of the fighting scenes and animation and i'm just letting you know when they first started uh <laughs> no <laughs> but boruto they actually stay pretty fairly consistent i'm gonna say fairly consistent for for people that have very uh that are very like oh wait no nah, they can't really. come on look at freaking sakura versus Oh, one of those freaking, um, uh, uh, Uchiha's freaking, uh, we got the Nar, the Boruto movie fight arc. That was dope as hell. That was the best movie fight out. That was the best fight in the freaking anime so far. And then we got this one. We got Konoha Harmo versus Judo. That was a light fight, but that jump was still fly. That was still fly. Um, so many other different fights, man, in the series. I, I, I can't name them all, but there was some good fighting scenes within this series so far that have proved it's, uh, it's legitimate animation and it flows pretty well. And it's very fluid with the animation style that they, they so desire. Now what threw me off was, what the hell was that? Did y'all see the way Konohama looks now versus then his hairstyle? He looks like a totally different person. He went from slick to you know what I'm saying, uh different. Like he doesn't look the same. And is it and, and are they doing that because they want to stay authentic to the fact that he just got burnt alive, so now his hair looks like a freaking bush. But the thing is, if you get burnt alive, shouldn't he look more freaking burnt alive? Like his clothes are still intact, bro. But you tell me his hair is gonna change? I don't understand that. Is there if they do a change in character style for 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 Konohamu? And that's what they want him to look now, like now compared to then. And and that's how his hair was supposed to look. They go with the manga hair or something. Is that what he looks like in the manga versus in the actual anime? Are they going? Are they starting to approach the the actual manga style uh, hairstyles? Because if so, then we going we gonna get freaking uh, the Sasuke hair gonna actually look like the manga hair. Gara here gonna like the manga here. All these other characters gonna like the manga here. Which ain't, I don't know, problem with, but it's just like, it's just gonna throw me off a little bit because the animation style is about to change drastically. And I'm starting to see it within the anime right now because, you know, the manga st uh, style is different from the anime style. You can just tell. And, but it's dope though, it's dope though. I'm liking the new style, but I can tell when, when the vessel arc started and freaking Ao came in the picture, he did not look like he was supposed to be a part of the anime. <laughs> His style was so manga originated. Like he didn't look like he was like pasted into the anime versus actually just naturally supposed to be a part of the anime because of his character style, his character design and how everybody else's character design is different. It's more brighter, the colors are more brighter and it's less uh, 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 dull and, and, and dark and his character is more dull and dark. Like his character looks like he fits more in the Shippuden world, literally, like he's literally a blast from the past compared to being in the Boruto's world where the colors are more light and brighter and the characters are more light and brighter and and stuff like that. That's just an, anal an, uh, an analysis on the, the digital color theory, they, they, the, uh, the digital color that is decided to choose for these characters. Now, as far as the fight, fight was epic, as I suggested, stated before. It was fluid animation. I loved it. I'm, I'm an animator myself, so if y'all want to check out my animations on my channel, I do have animations on my other channel, which is my main channel, uh, GMB Creates. Yes, I have a main channel. This is not my main channel. This is my reaction channel. This is my second channel. You can tell within the subscriber account. 
uh, 600 subscriber count on this channel compared to 700 subscribers count on my uh, main channel. Now, if you may subscribe to my main channel, help me get to 1K so I can finally be on 1K because I'm I, I know I'm confident in myself that I, I'm well deserving of 1K. Being back, being back on topic with Boruto and Kawaki, as we stated, Boruto's just sitting there like, what do we do? And, you know, half the half the freaking episode was just Kawaki and Garu fighting. And I'm not complaining, not one bit, because I love a good fighting scene. And it's just like so good not to see them talk so much within the damn series, like talk no jutsu all over the series and, and actually just fight. Give us a Dragon Ball Z moment and keep it epic. And they delivered with the Dragon Ball Z moment. Did you not see when he blasted that man? Man, he blasted. I am not seeing him just so ready in the series until just recently when he blew that dude's freaking whole body off, bro. Did you see that? This man said all over his body. Dude, he was just nothing but legs left, bro. He was like this on the ground. You did you see that? I know you saw that if you seen the freaking that if you've seen that if you've seen the freaking fight you know if you've seen he was nothing but legs legs noodles noodles i'm trying to tell you but other than that though um that is today's review uh it was can't really say that much love in with within the topic um two more things two more points outside the fight uh because it was you know it was just a, <laughs> you gotta see my reaction man I, I talk more about the fight within my reaction but the fight it was it, it was freaking amazing and then i noticed one okay two things i've noticed within the fight before i before i let y'all go um i'm gonna mention four more things but two things within the fight two no no number one if you notice kawaki literally was knocking this dude down first half of the fight and then all of a sudden he started to become garu started to become more tolerant of the pain during the fight his punches started to become less and less effective and it was weird because it's like you're giving him that work but he just seems to be un uh, unfazed by it like he's barely giving you barely even putting a scratch on this man and then I didn't start noticing until Kawaki started to slow down because he's moving so fast. He's like, oh, yeah, he put in that work. You know what I'm saying? He's actually making him fight for it. You know what I'm saying? Which he was, but it was more like a tassel than it was a knockdown. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's moving so fast, but he's not really doing much damage. It's just like he's just he's almost like he's fighting for his life because he wasn't really he didn't really have that much power left in him because he's been fighting those uh, freaking uh uh bots that was uh uh he was up against earlier so half his power is gone but then we get to number two he unleashes this freaking karma seal and i think he sinks his power with car with boruto's power and, and and but but unknowingly when it happens it releases between both of them and that's what allows him to be able to actually finish him off with find the final blow and if you notice he was actually able to penetrate him like on before and and i also noticed that his his power his transformation looks like jugo's transformation when his arm transforms into the little thing and if you remember the jugo versus konohamu fight you remember his he has that sage type of ability and that's what this transformation of the karma still reminds me of it reminds me of the sage trans uh, transformation that's known by the uh the the the, uh, the shinobi jugo within the akatsuki if you remember the original akatsuki jugo was actually in the boruto series um uh for a brief um time in the series and it just reminds me of that every time i see it, i'm just like yo this is like an upgraded version of his power on, on a whole nother scale it's, um but it's really cool and it's different to see how you know certain things uh seem like they connect as far as resemblance to different transformations and stuff like that 
and how they're used against their uh, opponents. And, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see the fluid animation, like I stated before, the different fighting style uh, Kawaki brings to the table. Um, very smooth, fluid animation, like I stated before. And then, you know, this big thunderhead uh, Garu, uh, who's just like a real dunce, like a real ditzy character, you know what I'm saying? But he's not ditzy, he's more like, he's just more of a, just a, a, a big dummy. That's what he's more like. <laughs> he's just, you know what I'm saying? He, he, and the fact that I thought that he had like actual, he was using his actual powers, but he's actually using this ninja tool. If y'all notice, he's using a ninja tool and he, he ran out of power within the ninja tool. I'm thinking he actually has ninjutsu that he's using, but he's not, he doesn't have actual ninjutsu from what I've seen. He's using a ninja tool and it re reminds me that all these all these members of Kara uh, 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 so far aren't actually like uh, well the outers the outers of Kara are actually being used as tools rather than using actual ninjutsu and the actual inners if you notice are actually using powers they're actually uh, what do you call it actually have abilities rather than using tools. And the outers so far, Garu and Ayo have specifically, they have manifested that idea that they are tools and they are only used as tools. And that's why they consider the outers. And the inners are the only ones with the actual abilities to build and destroy. And it is shoot and it's shown and seen with that with Kashi Kajin, you know, you've seen Kashi Kajin, and I hope I'm not saying anything wrong. Koji Kajin, I think that's what his name is. I hope I'm not saying his name wrong. The dude that looks like freaking Jiraiya, but he's not, and I won't spoil it for everybody. Koji Kajin, that's his name. Tripping. Yeah, Koji Kajin, and dang, they got the spoiler in when you type up his name. I'm not even gonna say it though. Um, I know the spoiler, I'm not really tripping about it. And it's still it's still worth to watch the show, even if you find out the full spoiler. But I'm not gonna spoil it because this is an anime review, not a manga review. So for those that are watching the anime, I'm not gonna spoil it for you because I don't want to get dislikes. <laughs> I don't want to get all likes. We're trying to get all likes on this video. But um, y'all, let me know in the comment section down below. What do y'all think about episode 189? We could chat more in the comment section down below. Also check out my, my Patreon, like I suggested before. My Patreon. Link will be in the description down below. I'll also leave it in the comment section if they will let me put it in the comment section as well as a reminder for people that like to check the comment section. But I'll also leave y'all feedback on today's video and y'all thoughts on the actual battle of 189 Koshi, Koji versus Kashi. And um, without further ado, that ends today's video. But I was mentioning all this uh, and within the fight because I was noticing all that with the outers and inners and within the series how they're they're being used as tools the outers and the inners actually have abilities like Kosh, Koji Koshin as I was mentioning he was able to use Rasinga he's able to use this Toad Sage thing um, and it's weird because he's using all these abilities Jiraiya was known for and it makes me believe that he really is right but I guess we'll find out within later on within the series who he really is um, but other than that, though, um, we got the other girl, she didn't do nothing, which I was surprised about because she was so gung ho about, you know, catching Koji Kanshin slipping the blonde haired girl from the car member group, um, uh, group. But she didn't do nothing, she just was like suggesting what should be done, and Koji was like, nah, fam, we, we let them slide and see what happens from there because he's, um, gathering intel for whatever reasons he has or personal um agenda um or motives that he has that he's trying to gather for the uh, himself or for the group i don't know outside of that if you, if you notice the whole team was just sitting there like sitting ducks they were just sitting there like sitting ducks and it took boruto just learning his freaking seal to save them all or they could have been blasted away. Number two, well, now that I finally, before I forget, number two was, just, unlike Borto, Borto doesn't have a killer. He's merciful. 
this is reminds me again of like Cobra Kai. I didn't even state this before, but just I just think of Cobra Kai how they show no mercy, but then there's the Miyagi Do that shows mercy. Kawaki is Cobra Kai, Boruto's Miyagi Do. Oh my God, did y'all not even notice that? If you've seen the Cobra Kai show on Netflix, just stating an uh, 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 observation I just made between the two series, and I'm, I ain't, I'm just saying it's pretty pretty cool resemblance between the two, and, and, and it just shows you the difference between you know the good and the bad, and uh, and, and what and. Not necessarily stating that Kawaki is bad, but necessarily stating that the, the difference between them as far as their 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 uh, personality traits and how they carry themselves, and if they are gentle or or violent, and that's where you can see the difference between the two, and how they may treat each other within the series as this time goes on. But that is today's video, and I am at a climax. I'm about to reach my time clock for 25 minutes in on this video. So that ends the review. And I'm going to shut up now, and I'm going to want y'all to check out my video on Patreon. Link in the description in the comment. Leave feedback on the on this, today's video for 189. And thank you for watching. Peace. GMB out.